Hi, so what I got here are several different Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz antennas. So typically what you have is you have a Wi-Fi adapter and you'll have the uh, RPSMA connector here for the antenna. That's going to be a female version often on the antenna side. So uh, what comes with it is the 6-inch antennas. And these 6-inch antennas are pretty powerful. They are considered maybe 4 dBi or 5 dBi. And um, sometimes that is not giving you the strongest signal or the most reliable connectivity. It might drop uh, connectivity um, all of a sudden and you might be wondering why, you know, what's going on. So um, trying to improve upon that, whether that is from the transmitter on the router side or from the receiver end on the Wi-Fi adapter side, you might want to improve upon the performance of the connectivity and also the reliability of the connection. So um, what I've gotten here is um, a 15 inch omnidirectional antenna. This is the original six inch omnidirectional antenna. And then these two are purely directional antennas. So this is a telescopic antenna that I got from eBay. Uh, actually it works pretty decently, a little bit better than the Yagi I would say. This here is the Yagi directional antenna. And this itself is a 20 inch antenna. And so let me just go through the experience that I've gotten with each of these. And then also on my computer, give you a little sense of uh, the rating. Now, I would say that this 15 inch, 16 inch omnidirectional antenna is the most versatile. So if you want to improve on your reception or the transmitting of your uh, router signal, um, you know, get these. These were pretty cheap. These were basically $10 for the pair and it ranges to around like $15 but they were well worth it as omnidirectional antennas in replacing the standard 6 inch antenna here that I got so what I normally do is you know I'll, I'll attach it to the Wi-Fi adapter so so let me just alternate it in uh, different ways here where uh, I, I could show you comparing and contrasting basically the the length of these um, and and I'll t you know turn it up like this so, so you could sort of see you know the difference now this is a 10 dBi antenna 9 to 10 dBi and this is like a 4 to 5 dBi and I would say it does provide maybe a good 15 20 percent gain in reception you know just by this alone so this is if you're gonna try out how to improve your connection I, I would go with this first now the other ones are similar you know and, and let me remove this here so I do have the Yagi here and the Yagi is a little bit more cumbersome because the Yagi here and you can tell I'm knocking things you know all over the place because this Yagi here is a 20 inch antenna. So this 20 inch antenna is a little bit bulky, but if you hide it in your you know, uh, display cabinet or TV cabinet, it where, or if, if uh, you, know, you have it underneath the desk or something, it uh, is fine. So what I do is you know, I'll have the antenna in the direction of the signal that I am you know, interested in. And I have it attached here to, to another Wi-Fi receiver or adapter. And you can see here, you know, these, these are all standard connections. So, so they're all the female RPSMA. And so, you know, if you have an adapter, chances are any of these will work with it. And I'll have the links in the description area of this video. You know, where, all right, I'm attaching the Yagi like this and aiming that at the direction where I know the Wi-Fi signal is. And uh, you're gonna have to download some free Wi-Fi analysis software to see how strong the signal is, how reliable the signal is. And I'll demo that software uh, in just a second here. So this, that there is the 20 inch Yagi. Now this is fairly unique. This is a telescopic. So this thing might look cheap, but what it is is you know, it traps a lot of signals in here, so it, and then it bounces back and forth. So it's one of those canister 
can canister Wi-Fi antennas. And this particular one is similar. It has a connector, which is basically the RPSMA female connector. And you, you could aim it, you know, you, you could move it up and down. So you, you, you can move it up and down, it's pretty stable. This was $16. That particular one I also got on eBay, which was $13. So I have all of these links in the description area of this video. And this particular one, so all three of these, I wouldn't say any one is better than the other, except for the omnidirectional, because the omnidirectional is the most versatile. Um, but all of these other two, you could aim at particular directions to get a stronger signal. So this is the telescopic one, canister. And I imagine inside there is like a mini Yagi, is, is my guess. And if, you know, I screw it in, you know, basically I could also use that. Now you, you could combine a bunch of these. And um, so here I'm mixing and matching the omnidirectional with the telescopic. So, uh, you know, it's worth experimenting in all of these. Now let me go ahead and give you a, a demo on, on the screen of, uh, you know, some of the Wi-Fi reception. So what I got here is a bunch of these antennas hooked up to this adapter here. So this adapter is a... 802.11n, so you could hook it up to an 802.11 AC or A, it doesn't matter, it is all 2.4 gigahertz here. So what I want to show you here is um, how I am switching back and forth between the antennas. Now in, in the first one I have the 6 dBi, this is the 9 dBi, this is the canister right here, and this is the Yagi. And you'll notice there might not seem to be a uh, too big a difference if you look initially on this, but uh, keep in mind that this is a directional antenna So depending on where you aim it, but also the amount of different access points that you'll be able to see uh, Here, you know varies depending on what antenna you are using in particular So I will have these links in the description area of the video so that you could get this software for free and actually measure the different types of uh, you know signal strength and also the maximum number of uh, basically the uh, reliability of the connectivity and all of that so uh, just keep that in mind um, and th that's really what I want to show this is something that you could actually do yourself but as I mentioned early on it's not necessarily that any one of these are better than the other one though I would say that the omnidirectional is the most flexible uh, one that uh, you could get and has uh, sort of uh, overall uh, if you were to try any one of these you would try this one first and then the canister one for the directional and then maybe the Yagi so I would try that for your particular whatever problem you're trying to solve whether it's connectivity whether it's drop signals whether it's signal strength uh, you know just try it in that order uh, because it is also uh, sort of like the order of the uh, cost and expense also um, but uh, you know you you would definitely try this experiment yourself here um, so um, for each one of these particular ones uh, just keep that in mind and I hope this helps and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching